Hey everyone, Anjita this side. Welcome back to AV Automation Hub. In this video, we will see how we can run test cases using both Cypress and Playwright within the same framework. We will start by installing Cypress and then we'll proceed to install Playwright. And afterward, we will be running our test case in both headless and the UI mode. So without any delay, let's get started. So let's go to VS Code and then start installing Cypress. So I've already created a folder over here. This is an empty folder. Let's go to our terminal and start the installation. So we are doing it from scratch. We will install Cypress and then we will install Playwright. So go to your terminal, enter the command npm in it, pass all the details, which is package name, version, description. So now once we install it, we can see package.json got created over here. The next thing is we have to install Cypress. So in order to install Cypress, install Cypress, we use the command npm install Cypress. So I will just write it npm install Cypress. So once Cypress is installed, you can see a dependency added over here. You can see like this. Let's open the Cypress. So we'll use command npx Cypress open. Just run this command. Now do the basic setup for the configuration of Cypress. So select end to end test. Click on continue and select your browser. So I'm just choosing Chrome over here. Now click on this example specs and click on OK, I got it. Now you can run any test case from here. So these are the sample test cases which are provided by Cypress. Cypress is installed. Now let's go back to our VS Code. And over here we can see Cypress package is added inside which you will have your end-to-end -end folder and you will have your support package in which you will have command.js and end-to-end.js. And apart from this, we also have a config file which is cypress.config.js. So this is what comes default with the Cypress installation. And the next thing is we will install Playwright. So in order to install Playwright, what command we have to use? So I'll just clear. We'll use this command npm init Playwright. So while installation, what you can do, you can choose the language if you want JavaScript or TypeScript. Let's, let's choose it as TypeScript. It is asking you where do you want to put your end-to-end -end test case. So if you do not enter anything, there will be new folder created as test inside which your Playwright test cases are added. But now we want to have both Cypress and Playwright test cases in a single framework. So what we can do, we know about Cypress test cases are inside end-to-end, -end, right? So what I will do, I will mention the path here, Cypress slash end-to-end so that your Playwright test case will be in the end-to-end. -end. So whenever you will run your test case, it will be fetched from this location. So I have just changed this path over here. Now click on enter. If you want a GitHub action workflow, yes or no, let's pass it as false for now and install the Playwright browsers. We can just click on enter and Playwright is getting installed. So once Playwright is installed, you can see a dependency added over here. You see this one and then we can see playwright.config.js also got added like we have cypress.config.js. Similarly, we have playwright.config.js inside which you will see test directory, which means where it is picking the test cases from. So all the test cases inside this path will be executed. Right. So just like Cypress, Playwright also provides a sample test case. So we have the sample test case, which is example.spec.ts. Because we use language as TS, you can see a sample file added over here. And the Cypress test cases are anyways inside these two folders. So now it's very clear. We have playwright.config.js and we have a sample test case, which is added by Playwright. Now let's run the Playwright for example. So what command you have to use? Yes, we will use this command, which is npx playwright test iPhone and iPhone UI. So this means we are running our test case in the in the UI mode. Let's run it. So you can see a Playwright window got open and you can run your test case from here. It is running your Playwright test case. Now what we have done, we have installed Cypress, we have installed Playwright and both are there in the single framework. We can see both the dependencies added over here. Next step, what we will do, let's just create a sample test case for this registration flow for the open card website and we will run it using Cypress and Playwright both. So I already have the scripts ready. I will just add it over here. So first of all, let me add a file over here, which is opencard.cy.js. So this will be my Cypress test case. And now I will create one more file, which will be opencard.spec.ts. So this will be my Playwright test case. And let me delete the other sample test cases, which we have. So I'll just remove it. So I'll just paste over here my sample script for this registration flow. So this is the sample script in which what I am doing, I'm opening this website and I'm passing first name, last name, email address, phone number and password and clicking on the radio button. 
and then in the end i'm verify text exist on the page so this is a basic case we have already covered in one of the previous videos if you have not watched i will add that in in the description below and you can check that video over here we have just imported the faker library so for faker library what we have to do so i'll quickly install the faker library so with this a faker library would be added and your test case would be running fine so why we are using faker because in the registration form there is a check for the email address if it is an existing one it throws an error so in order to pass the dynamic email address i am using the faker library over here so this is a basic test case how to find the locator how to use the assertion you can watch my other cypress videos so let's run this test case and let's see if this is working fine so how do we run the cypress test case we use the command npx cypress open okay now select end to end testing select your browser and we have only single test case over here which is open cart let's just run the test case and you see this is working perfectly fine our all the details are getting passed we have first name last name email address and then the password and then in the end we are also verifying the text exists on the page or not so this is what we have done for the cypress let's create the similar test case for playwright as well so let's go to editor and write the test case for playwright i'll just go to this open card dot spec dot ts i already have a sample code just paste over here this is again uh, very simple we are opening the web page and then we are entering the details in this case also i'm using the faker library in the end i am checking there is this text on the page or not let's run the playwright test case we'll go to terminal let me just clear it in order to run this playwright test case i will use the command npx playwright test hyphen hyphen ui let's run this one so i'll run my test case and we will see so this is getting executed and you can see all the details are getting passed and in the end we are also verifying the text is there on the page or not and it got passed so this is again a passed test case now what we will do we will create a script in package.json so we will create script for both cypress and playwright so in future if we want to run our test case through ci cd maybe if we want to go for github actions or jenkins it use the same script so first of all we will create script for cypress and then we will create script for playwright also so let's name it as cypress test ui and let's pass the command which is npx cypress open so this is the command to run your cypress test case in the ui mode and next script we will create for playwright test for the ui mode playwright test ui i will pass the command to run my playwright test case in the ui mode we have created two scripts one for playwright and one for the cypress so both are for running the test case in the ui mode we will create two more scripts to run it in the headless mode as well so i will create it like this cypress test headless and how do we run our test case in headless mode we use the command npx cypress run and for playwright i will create one more script and i will name it as playwright test headless so the command to run your playwright test case in the headless mode npx playwright test so we will just copy the same command from here so this is our command we have four scripts inside of package.json let's run this script through the terminal let me just clear it first we will run our cypress headless script and then we will run our playwright headless script okay. so what you have to do you have to run the command npm run my script name we will see it will run your cypress test case and you can see inside this it is just searching for single spec file although we have two spec files which are inside end to end but it's just searching for single one why because it is searching for for this pattern right so we just have single file with this pattern the other one is ending with dot spec dot ts and by default we know in the headless mode the browser is electron let's see the result you open cart test case got passed let's run the script for playwright as well so what we will do i will just clear it first and we will run the script so it's npm run and i will just copy so just pass the script over here and we will see it will run your playwright test case in the headless mode we can see it executed our test case right if you want to see the report we can also check the report to use this command which is npx playwright show report so why is it saying three pass because by default it runs on all the three browsers which is webkit chrome and firefox so we can also see the report in which it will show you all the browsers so let's see that 
So this is our playwright report in which we can see this is our spec file name opencard.spec.ts and inside which we can see executed for Chromium, for Firefox and for WebKit. So it executed for all the three browsers. This is how you can run both your Cypress test case as well as your Playwright test case using the same framework. We can also create the script like we saw today. We created multiple scripts. And in future, if you want to run it on CI/CD pipeline like GitHub Actions or Jenkins, you can use the same script. You can also try it if you're already using Cypress and if you want to use Playwright, you can maybe try this approach. Uh, if you have already some test cases which are running with the Cypress and you want to install Playwright, maybe you can follow this approach and, and do this POC in your project and see how it works. In the next video, we will also run our test case in GitHub Action for both Playwright and Cypress. So with that, you will get an idea how to run your Playwright and Cypress test case in CI/CD pipeline as. So yeah, that's it for the video. If you really find it helpful, let me know in the comment section and please like, share and subscribe to my channel. Share it with your friends and thank you for watching.